Hey everybody, hi. <laughs> this is Dr. Bean, it's your Black Woman Millionaire's Mentor. I am in sunny San Diego. I just stepped out of my training to keep my promise to you. And I'm gonna go and perfectly find a place to sit to do our live stream. Um, I'm gonna go up the steps. I believe I'm going up the steps. Or maybe I'm not gonna go up the steps. I'm gonna go this way. And I'm gonna see if I can find me a place to sit. So I could be fully present. Hi, everybody. I see you coming. Yay. I got Facebook friends. Let me see. Where am I? I could, I could just grab a chair. I'm going you know, I'm going, I'm going to go outside. Hi, everybody. Glad you're here. I'm going to go outside and see if I could. Oh, this is nice. Ooh, right. Mm. It's, oh, thank you for the hearts. I appreciate it. It's very pretty. Let me see if I can show you how it looks like. Isn't that gorgeous? I love it. All right, mama, I see you. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is just stay out here. I'm gonna cop swat. Um, just left my training. Um, I think y'all know I'm scaling. Well, we're scaling to find possible. And so I hired myself a scaling mentor. Ugh. Hey, okay. <laughs> well, thank you, Renee. I'm glad I look cute today. I, I get dressed when I come outside, okay? <laughs> hey, Denise. Um, uh, but I'm, me and Lisa are here. We're getting trained, masterminding with some of our peers. Thank you. Thank you for loving the lipstick. Um, yes, a girl, we do the work, right? When it's time to get dressed, we put it on. Um, but I wanted to keep my promise to you. I said I was going to be here each Monday and I wanted to touch base with you. Um, well, good, hi, Georgia. Good evening, baby girl. And I wanted to talk to you about, do you need to be needed? Okay, for those of you who are new to me, I'm Dr. Bean, it's your Black Woman Millionaire's Mentor. My life is a miracle. I used to live on the streets by the time I was 16 years old, eating out trash cans, sleeping in urine and beer. And it was my ninth grade math teacher, a black woman who literally saved my life. It was because of her love that I eventually graduated from Stanford University with a second master's degree and a PhD. I have four degrees. I took all the survival that kept me alive on the streets, turned it into a system that fast tracked me to the million dollar mark in three years, a little under three years, and our company Defy Impossible has gross four million in the last five, and our clients have generated over eight million gross, according to their testimonials, in the last seven. We've been in the game for seven years, and I have a profound commitment to black women making their paper, okay? Hey, Queen, I see you, Larissa, glad you're here. Thank y'all for showing up. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so I love my tribe. Okay. And so I'm 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 doing this whole thing around manifesting millions, right? But I'm also really looking at I was with my black woman millionaires mastermind clients. And these chicks are I'm gonna tell y'all, they're about to take over the world. And I realized part of what I was putting together with them around because we were talking about manifesting. Hey Queen, I see you. Hey Valerie, hey Karen. What I realized is that um in terms of manifesting millions, part of what we talked about this last week, this whole notion, oh, thank you, Jewel, this whole notion about having a sufficient condition, okay? And if you don't remember that, please go back and look at the uh, last week's um, live stream because I'm doing a series, okay? Oh, no, we're welcome, Renee. I keep my promises, okay? Um, what I realized, and I was sharing this with my clients, and we would just walk this through, is that you have to have a sufficient condition. Well, part of that is this. If you are a person in business, okay, if you're a black woman making your coins, you have to really start to contend with do you need to be needed, okay? Meaning, does your work require that your clients depend on you in order for you to make paper? It is something to contend with because what I'm committed to is growing up leaders. I don't want a bunch of followers. I think black women are natural leaders. I think we're not trained for shit when it comes to making our own money for ourselves. But we, oh, did I tell y'all curse? I'm so sorry. I'm bilingual. I speak street, fluent street, okay? I curse, I cry, I pray, I break, I, I say what I say, and, um, and I, and I'm not, I'm not, I'm not sorry for none of it, but um, I need to make sure you know that so that if you're easily offended, I encourage you to go ahead and leave now because I, I promise you, I'm going to say something that's so honest that it's going to insult your survival. Okay. Just know that anything I say is in love and I, I'm just committed to you winning and you can't win if you don't know what's missing. And I will course correct if I feel like 
you're, if there's something you're saying that's not accurate, I will I will correct you, and I'll do it in love. There's no, I'm not coming at you raw. I'm coming at you real. Okay, so I just want to make sure you know that for those of you who are new to me. Okay, okay. Well, thank you, Sharon. <laughs> she said we're okay with you cursing out to be. Thank you for that. No, no, but it, not, we have new people, so it works too. You know, include them. Oh, yes, girl, we do. We do the face. We beat when it's time. We get cute. All right. So back to you. Um, and for those of you, I want to say, I gotta tell you this. Thank you so much. Last week, last Monday, y'all shared my work even while we were talking. And I want to tell you, I appreciate you for pushing this word out so that other black women, your sororities, your Facebook people, your your church women, and, and let them know I curse. I'll put a disclaimer in there. <laughs> let them know that and pray for me. Um, thank you for sharing. Please thank you. And please continue to share this video. Please share it. I'm, I'm building an army of black women so that we actually we break generational curses with our bank account. How about that? Okay. And so thank you for sharing and please continue to continue, please continue to do so. So this is the thing I want to talk to you about. You need to be needed. Okay. As a black woman millionaire in the making, one of the things you have to really contend with is are you training up leaders? Or are you training up fans? Are you training people to depend on you? And if that's the case, then how can you grow your business? If you can't, if they all have to have you do it. And as black women, we have a tendency to, at least I have, let me, let me rephrase that. I want it to be needed. You know, if you think about all you've done in your life, a lot of it has a lot to do with people needing you. Well, if you're so needed that if you leave, things fall down, that's not, that's not healthy. That's codependent. Okay. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So I'm going to invite you to look in your real life. Do you have it set up so that you're the, the go-to person to everybody? You got to do everything. Nobody can do it as good as you can do it. Look in your own life to see if that's the case. That behavior, if you bring that to your business, you're not going to scale. You're not going to you're not going to be able to leverage. You're not going to be able to grow a team. Because you can't grow a team if you have to do it all yourself. And if you're used to being needed, then do you know how hard it is to train you to let that go so people don't need you? <laughs> <laughs> it made me laugh. I think my jokes are funny. Okay. Oh, thank you, Jewel. Love you for this. Jewel is so good to me. Um, but this is the thing. This is what I believe. This is what I've learned from my own walk. Okay. If you're really committed to making your mark, making the difference you were uniquely crafted by life to make and manifest millions, not make millions, manifest millions. You have to cultivate leaders around you. Literally everybody on my team is a boss. They boss me around. I train my clients to hold me to my highest. They get to give me feedback, not criticism because it's just a sister, sister, you know, I get all wee wee, right? But they get to ask what they want and I get to honor that because I don't want them to need me. I want them to need themselves. I want them to need each other. I am a guide. Do you understand? I'm a mentor, y'all. I'm a teacher. I am not God. I don't want to be God. If I were Jesus, things would be, I would be killing people and raising them from the dead every day. Okay? So you have to really be, be willing to mature emotionally. So you're not needing people to need you to the point you handicap your business. Okay, y'all on my face today. Y'all don't care what about my word. I see comments about my lipstick, about my eye color. Where's the wisdom? I'm I'm spitting real knowledge here. Okay, can someone give me a holla, a preach, something? Y'all like, ooh, the makeup is beat. Y'all know every now and then I get dressed up, and you know. <laughs> Thank you, Louise. She said manifest millions. At least, oh, thank you for the heart, somebody. Um, Y'all are all on my face today. Now, granted, it, I did this, okay? I mean, we did this thing. But the point is, it, is my words making any difference in your life? <laughs> I thought it was funny. Okay, thank you, Karen. Thank you, Karen. Holler and preach. At least I got a little bit of feedback. Thank you, Valerie. Okay. You're like, face. I'm listening, but you did. <laughs> A team said, I'm listening, but you do look good, sis. Okay, fine. Point taken. That's fair. I don't normally get dressed, you know, so thank you for loving on me, and I appreciate it. I really do. Thank you. Um, my point is, as you move from making money to manifesting millions, you have to orient yourself around feeding leaders, developing leaders, and the way you develop leaders is that you empower leadership. You empower leadership. 
You see what I'm saying? You don't do it yourself. You empower other people to do what they think is best and you make it work. You know, like my wife, she's, she's the president of our company. I empower her leadership. Now her leadership is not, it was like an 80, 20 rule. It's not necessarily what, how I would have done it, but what she does is brilliant. And the 20% that's different than what I would do is fucking amazing. Okay. So my point is that you have to, I'm going to cut the battery on. Hold on a second, everybody. I'm going to cut this battery on so the phone doesn't die. Did it come on? I can turn it off. Oh, come on. Okay, I just have to cut the battery on, otherwise it wouldn't, I don't want the phone to die. Yes, you have to empower leadership. If you're out to manifest millions, you have to empower leadership so that you're only doing your genius. If your people, if you have to be needed, you won't let it go. Have you ever worked with somebody who's, who will not let it go? They, they, they're going to do it, even if they do it wrong, even if it takes them 50, 11 years, when they could give it to somebody else to do for $50 and get it done in five minutes because they have to do it their way, that's going to keep your money broke, boo. You can't move money like that. It takes too long. You have to be willing to empower leadership. And the way you empower leadership is you give people the opportunity to lead. You know what I'm saying? You provide opportunities for people to lead and you give them the intention and you let them do their best. You course correct and you, and you acknowledge the ground taken, but you can't do that if you need to be needed. You know what I'm saying? C said control freaks. Control freaks sounds so tardy. Let's not call people freaks. Not control freaks. There's different kind of freaks, but let's not call it that. How about they're learning how to CEO their business? You know, you have to learn how to, this is not automatic. You have to learn how to delegate. You got to learn how to let go. You have to learn how to train people. We're training up our sales team, our, our ops, everything. It's the training. That's, that takes some time. It takes some patience. It takes something to do. So I wouldn't, and it's, I'm going to tell you, it's quicker to do it your damn self. If you want to know the truth about it. But if you always step in to do it yourself, you will not develop leaders. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? You want to develop leaders, and that's and that's the game. The game is for you to get out of your business, stop working in your business, to work on your business, so you can scale and leverage your business. You can't get to a million dollars if you are slaving, doing itty bitty, teensy weensy, you know, five dollar jobs, because you too are afraid someone's not going to do it the way you want it done, or you want people to need you and know that you are the one. Look on my campus, it don't have to come from me. Sometimes some of the best ideas we have come from my team. It's not necessarily coming from me, but I empower a team of people to think, to provide leadership, to um, go and work it out among themselves. <laughs> and I only get involved when I'm required, okay? And that's part of what it means to be a boss, be a mogul, is that you are empowering leadership. You're empowering leaders. You're cultivating a culture where people lead instead of waiting for you to tell them what to do. And when you do that, you dominate people. That's what I mean by being needed. If people have to wait on you to tell them what to do, you have just, in essence, handicapped them. You tied their hands. You can't grow a business like that. If people have to wait on you, you are the bottleneck. You're actually slowing down your own money for your own ego. And that's not a bad thing. It's human. It's just, it's just not going to get you to the results you want. Okay? So... Oh my, Angela says, hell, finding the right people is a real challenge. It is a real challenge. Angela, you're right, it is a real challenge. But once you find them, cultivate them and keep them. It takes a couple of real It's like you have to kiss a bunch of frogs to find your prince or princess, right? But when it comes to scaling, when it comes to leveraging up your business to you becoming a black woman millionaire, you cannot do it without empowering leadership in your home. You got to empower your kids to help you stuff little envelopes. <laughs> You know, to help you with that social media. It empowers your, your spouse to support you. You have to empower your 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 clients to turn to each other instead of turning to you when you got to go away. I'm gonna be I'm gone. I'm gonna be off. Me and Lisa are gonna be gone for the next you know four weeks um, because it's vacation time and we got to manage some things. But the thing is, you have to empower other people's leadership to trust themselves, give them direction, but let them do it their way. And their way will not be your way. So you have to go with the 70, 30, or 80, 20 rule. Being okay with them getting 70% to how the way you want it. And the magic is the other 20 or 30% that they provide. Okay? So do you really, do you need to be needed? Think about it. If you need to be needed, what would it take for you to trust 
that you can cultivate other leaders around you so you don't have to be needed, you could be wanted. You could be in high demand. You could be sought after. You see, when you don't have to be needed, people want you. It makes an energetic shift that pulls for performance. You see what I'm saying? Oh, Sherry says, true leadership allows those under you to actually have a great, greater understanding, which I found gets them excited and motivated, which has been freeing. They take on more. Okay, Sherry, I'm with you. I'll take it. All right. So that was my word for today is I'm, I'm encouraging you to empower leadership. Okay. And the way you empower leadership is you give up your need to be needed. Give up your need to do it your way. You know what I mean? Give up your need to be right. Give it up. It's getting in the way of your money. It's not helping your bank account. It's, it's, um, it's honey, it's not. Please stop it, okay? And if you're fed by this word, this life-giving word, this life-affirming word, please pay it forward. Please share it, okay? I'm out to build an army of black women entrepreneurs who are designed to change the world, okay? And I can't do that without you. I need you to be my partner and empowering black women in their leadership in their lives. And I can't do that if I don't get the word out. And I didn't curse that much. It's a rare day. It must be because I got no makeup. Okay. So I'm saying seize the day. Seize the day. You won't have to apologize so much <laughs> about my potty mouth. Okay. So that's all I got for now. Know that you love my sweet sister's success. Please post your biggest takeaways and share this video. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for the hearts. And um, I'm, I will give away a free gift because um, I want to get you started on your path to seven figure success. Okay. Um, Larissa. Can you can you put the um get money free gift the love offering in um give up in, can you put that in the in the string so people get it okay that way I don't have to go and repost it later but if you can post that because I'm gonna see if one of my team members same as Arisa she's amazing okay if she can post that in the feed so that you have that that love offering that gift um it's called get money bring in new money with the skills you already have I want to give that gift that to you it's a thirty five hundred dollar value. But I'm giving it to you because I want you to go ahead and use it and start bringing in money now with the skills you already have. Okay? And it's just, it's a, I think it's a three hour audio training and a 19 page workbook. And it was one of my best sellers. But I've purposely turned it into a gift because I want to empower you to bring in your own money starting right where you are. Okay? So, uh, Larissa, I know I should have said something to you. Will you please post the link to um, get money? Okay. Oh, let me say, so I need to clarify, clearly define what I need from an assistant so I can do my genius work. That's right. You need to clearly, define. just make a list. Write out, Renee, write out all the stuff you don't like doing. <laughs> Put that on your list. Okay. <laughs> now you don't have to get it. Okay. Okay. Great. So Larissa, are you going to do that now or, do, or can I, can I sign off or do you want me to hang out while you do this? No, Larissa, she truly is amazing. Okay. Okay. Um, and if those of you are, for those of you who are, well, I'm not going to do all that. So please share this video. Larissa, please post the link um, to the Get Money Front Training, uh, my love offering. All right. And I'm going to go back to my training. So thank you for tuning in. Um, I love you with my whole heart, my sweet sisters and success and the brothers who love us. Oh, Jennifer Kennedy said, when can I find the book, girl? Mm, girl, I got to tell you something. I was about to sign off. I'm going to be self-publishing, okay, my own book. I haven't got all the deets together yet, but I'll be doing it. I'll, I'll start talking about it probably in the beginning of the new year, okay? Hello, Chica. How you doing? So it's coming. It's coming. I just I hadn't got that far. I was just trying to <laughs> make sure I kept my promise to you, okay? So um, I will post. We'll get the post together for the free gift, Okay, so thank you for your patience. Please share this video. I will let you know when the book drops. And y'all, I'm put a bug in your ear. I haven't told nobody, but I think, I think I'm going to go on tour next year. I think I'm going to go back on. I think I'm going to hit the road again and come to you instead of you having to come to me. Okay, we'll talk about it. It's going to be in the new year, but I'm very excited about what's possible in 2018. So, yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay, beloveds, know that you love to be on measure, my sweet sisters and success and the brothers who love us. And remember this, you, my sweet, are worth so much more than you have ever been taught to believe. And if you want to make your mark, make the difference you were uniquely crafted by life to make and make millions, uh, no, I'm sorry, manifest millions on your own terms, holla and preach, you have to heal your heart. Goodbye for now and please share 
this video now. Bye-bye.